Hey guys, what is going on? We are getting close. As you can see, I uh, I really didn't add anything at all because I was kind of lazy and didn't feel like adding a ton of stuff. So I added a statue, some vines, a pipe, and a light over here. So that way we can see over here better. So anyway, there's only like a couple small steps left in creating, making this map ready for running a matinee through it. And they're really simple, so I'm just gonna go through them all in this video. And then the next videos, we'll be going over Kismet and matinee and stuff. So let's see, what, what we're gonna do first, I'm just gonna mention that if, I want, I really wanna see people's maps and see how creative they were. So if you have a map and you have fraps, go ahead and play the map and record it and you can post it as a video response to this video and I'll take a look at them and tell them how everyone's doing and stuff. And So yeah, and if you guys have any questions, remember, always ask them in the comments. I will be answering as much as I can. So there's only a couple more steps, like I said, in order to make this map ready for, uh, for use in a machinima and what we're going to do I'm just going to turn off the builder brush that's kind of bugging me and the few steps that we have to do here are one we got to make a place to spawn in the map so the game doesn't crash every time it tries to load it up so you right click and add an actor add player start and what this does is it brings in a little node and you can lift it up and spin it around so you're facing that way so there we go you load up the map and that's where you're going to start in game so what we need to also do is we need to make something that tells the matinee to trigger. We need to make some kind of trigger and what we're going to do is we're just going to make a simple trigger right now. I'll explain another way of doing it in Kismet later. And all we have to do is right click add trigger and it brings up this little thing. I like to usually scale it up a little bit so I can hit it easier. So that thing's right there and what we'll do now quick is I'll go into Kismet just really quickly actually I have one there already and we'll click on this in game and make sure and then go into kismet right click and go to new event using trigger one, underscore whatever number and hit touch so that brings up this little thing and you'll be using that later just leave that there and don't worry about any kismet right now I will explain it later and go really in depth with it later so we're just going through quickly and setting up everything so we have the trigger, we have the player start. What we need to do now is rebuild the paths. Otherwise, when you get in the game, and let that load up quick. Uh, you can see our, our lighting is completely fine because we already rebuilt it, but our paths need to be rebuilt, which it's really stupid. It doesn't really matter for Machinima. The only thing that really affects you is that little piece of text, but it's for AI and stuff. And So we can just hit build paths quick and it takes like a second. So it's really simple. So that's pretty much all you need to do as far as little nodes and stuff to trigger the map and uh, trigger the map that run the matinee. Now we got to use actors and actors are really easy to set up and stuff. I'll just go through it really quick here. And I went I already went to the character section, selected skeletal meshes. I'll actually set up one guy right now just to demonstrate and what we can do is we can either grab him and drag him in like a static mesh or just right click and add a different kind of actor. They're, they're all pretty much the same. They don't make a big difference for machinimas. So I'll just add the normal one and we'll quit out of that <clears throat> and lift him up on the ground. Make sure that he is in a good spot so that he can be, a, you know, look like he actually, he's actually not on the ground, not standing inside the floor or something like that. So here we go. We have an actor and he's going to be our actor for now and what a skeletal mesh is is pretty much just a static mesh it's just a mesh that you make in an external you know, like Maya or 3DS and you add bones and rig it up and animate it and then you can import the animation separately so pretty much what we can do now is we can go in and go to the go to the properties for this skeletal mesh and there's a couple different things that we can look at <coughs> Like we have the skeletal mesh, the anim tree, this is animations, physics asset. This is all usually for different kinds of in-game stuff that you don't have to worry about. Cloth objects, apex clothing, 
soft bodied no, nothing really really need to be you need to worry about with a standard it's already because it's already set up unless you're worrying about AI and stuff that's probably the biggest deal <clears throat> so now we got this thing all set up I don't know what they seriously take that out physics that is really weird I'll have to check with that later so I guess you really can't do anything because I'm used to like clicking Oh, there it is right there. Oh, yeah, go to movement. Duh. Man, I'm stupid. So, yeah, go to the movement. You don't even need to be under the skeletal mesh actor page. You go to movement, and you always go to physics and hit physics underscore interpolating. And what interpolating is is when you have two different keyframes and the skeletal mesh is moving in between it or interpolating. It really doesn't make sense right now, but when we get into matinee later, it makes a lot of sense. So I'll, I'll, I'll make sure to remind you later of that. So whenever you put a, st a skeletal mesh and you want to use them in matinee, always have that selected. So hit F4, and you go to movement, and go to physics inter interpolating. So that's pretty much it. What we can also do is, if you really want to get detailed with how you light the character, with like rim lighting and stuff, I'm going to go through that really quick. <clears throat> what you do is you go open up your content browser and go to actor classes. You actually have to select a special kind of light for this because not all lights will work. So you go into point light and you get a point light movable. And what you can do with a movable point light is you select it one thing, you right click and add point light movable here. And what a point light movable does is it actually lets you attach this light to the guy and if you turn off shadows and stuff it can move around without having to be rebuilt every time so we're just gonna make this like uh, 220 radius random brightness take off cast shadows cast static shadows cast dynamic shadows and keep on cast composite shadows though so that's pretty much I mean you can make it a dynamic light too but then you also have to turn off lighting channels and what this does is it just specifies what kind of channel you want it to light and it, that way we don't have to light the floor and anything around it so it just affects the character it really helps in making the character stand out because the the way Unreal is set up it makes it blend really well the lighting makes any kind of mesh or material blend really well with uh, <clears throat> with the uh, surrounding environment. So it's always good to make them stand out. And what I'll do quick, I'm just going to make sure this is working well. And, uh, you can also, oh yeah, one more thing. I'll talk about light shafts later. You know what? Yeah, don't worry about that. So now what we got to do is attach this to the object that we want to attach to, which is, you know, our little friend here. I'm just gonna call him Uber Hacks or Nova. How's that? So what we do is we have to lock the viewport or the little properties menu. So we click on this and we lock. No, not copy. Lock it. So there we go. We hit lock, and what that does is makes it so even though you select this thing, this is still showing the properties for the light. So we can just go down to base here and click, click the add. Uh, you selected and content browser or something like that and it, it just uses what you have selected so you can go back to this unlock it <clears throat> and you can see a little line that's drawn right to the right to the character and there we have one of our detail lights I can't even remember what it's called uh, that's pretty sad I know the back one's called rim lighting maybe it is detail lighting accent lighting that's what it is accent lighting okay I got it so another thing we can do is we can actually change the draw scale of this character here uh, going to movement no where is it what am I even looking for it's gotta be under movement nope who cares okay so we got this and you can actually change the draw scale down here and put it point five point one there we go that'll just make the light of the the widget a little smaller so you can see the character a little more and I'm just gonna duplicate this quick so there's one on either side of them and then you also duplicate it and put it behind them for a rim light and I'll get I'll get into this a lot later of how rim lighting works and stuff you can actually manipulate it inside of matinee and stuff so it's really cool so I'll actually light this one up a little bit more and change the color wherever the light component went there it is uh, we'll just kind of change it to a uh, 
bruh, orange. There we go. Okay, so as you can see, that orange light isn't affecting anything but him either. So it's really great. So I'm going to go into the, um, the game mode. And we have our actor. I'm just going to save it. I haven't even saved this yet. Let me just save it quick. Uh, UDK tutorial. And save it. You guys should have saved, by the way, by now. You better have saved by now. Don't be like me. So we have our actor. Uh, a couple things, remember, he's set to physics interlopating, interpolating, sorry. He has accent lighting, rim lighting, and he is ready to be used in a matinee sequence. So he is all set up, and let me just rebuild. And what we can do now, I'm going to rebuild the lighting. Every time you mess with lights, rebuild the lighting. It's pretty simple to remember. So we have everything set up. Hopefully you guys have a nice map all set up. Uh, remember to post video responses with your maps and hopefully you've set up the trigger and you've set up the player spawn and then you are ready to start making stuff in matinee and kismet and i will go on to that next so thanks for joining me guys remember if you haven't seen any of these already hit the playlist below and remember comment questions and comments in the comment section or whatever it's called i don't know so yeah hope you guys have are having fun i know i am <laughs>